Well, good afternoon and welcome back. Today we're looking at a 1911 A1, and this one here is a rather unique gun. This one has no serial number in it. And how did it get no serial number? Well, this is a gun that was being produced, and along the way, it was rejected. And there was for whatever reason, they rejected this pistol, and when it was rejected, they took and they crushed the frame down right here. They pinched it together and threw it in the reject bin. Well, some enterprising individual decided that this fine specimen of a 1911 shouldn't go in the garbage. So they took it home and they dollied it out. You can see there's a series of dents on here. And in that process, of course, the metal being flexed or bent back and forth created a little split, probably about a quarter of an inch long, five sixteenths of an inch long down in here. And uh, probably didn't affect the way the, that the uh, pistol functioned. But uh, nonetheless, it has no serial number. It was a reject. Now this was determined to be, after a considerable amount of time trying to figure out how to date it, that it was a Remington Rand frame, and that was determined by the stamping on the frame itself, where it has the letters, or the, um, the N-O there, is a Remington Rand style. Now it also has a Remington Rand slide on it. So this would have been made somewhere in the era of 1942 to 1943. So this is a World War II production Remington Rand that was rejected. And you can see this doesn't have the best fit up here if you can see that gap in there between the slide and the frame. But in our, anyway, it's a very, another very interesting piece, an unserial numbered Remington Rand, also known as a lunchbox gun that's been removed from the factory. Somebody put it back together, and there you go. This still exists today, saved from the scrap heap, and now another notable little footnote in the history of the 1911s. You can see it. It really doesn't match very well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, get to see another piece of 1911 history. Thanks for tuning in.